I'm only using my ViewSonic as a big TV and I don't know how to use it to its fullest potential. You're not the only one. A lot of teachers are in the same boat. That's why we're starting our ViewSonic 5-minute series to give you bite-sized videos to help you get the most out of your ViewSonic. Check the description box below for links to all the games I mentioned in this video. You'll want to experiment and see if the games work better in the Chromium browser on your ViewSonic or if they work best by plugging in an HDMI and USB cable. This thinner USB cable allows touch, so you only have to really plug it in when you need it, since the thicker HDMI cable allows for both sound and visual. We'll start with AVCA. For those that don't know, this is a site with games for kids K through 6 that covers a variety of subjects. For example, if you are a math interventionist, you may choose the snowball game as a fun way to use counters to build two rows of three, for example. One of our favorites is a Fruit Ninja inspired game called Number Ninja. There are variations of this game for prime numbers, multiples, and odd or even numbers. Students just slice through the correct numbers and avoid getting X's for incorrect ones. ABCA has a few games that even allow for two kids to play at the same time. For instance, students could work in pairs and come to the ViewSonic to work together on Numbers Ninja. You could even incorporate these games into centers so it's not too overwhelming with the whole class at once. Funbrain.com is another awesome example. They have games for K through 8, and they also offer videos and books. The game I'm showing here is called Cake Monster, which is great for kindergartners. You're given a number that you have to find on the number line, and you can drop the candy on the correct spot. For ELA, there's also the Grammar Gorillas, where you have to find the part of speech in the sentence. In this example, I'm looking for verbs and nouns. PHET offers STEM simulations, which are perfect for visualizing difficult concepts. I'm demonstrating an equal fractions activity here. Anything with drag and drop will work perfectly, and a few simulations on this site even allow for two kids to touch the ViewSonic and use the simulations at the same time. Here's another example from middle school where we demonstrate diffusion by changing the options on the right and observing how those changes affect the rate of diffusion. Finally, we have code.org. Students could follow along with you on their Chromebooks, or you could have them come up to the board and have each student contribute a piece of code to the project. This is Code a Dance Party. I adjusted the code blocks until I got my desired dance. Seesaw is an obvious example because it allows for drawing and drag and drop. In this first activity, I'm actually using the eraser tool to dig for fossils. Uh, I could also drag letters to the correct category, and I can draw. Pear Deck has great templates, and here I'm using the annotate feature on the ViewSonic side toolbar to draw. If you want to learn more about the side toolbar, that video is actually linked in our description below. Boom card lessons are another popular option to use with the ViewSonics. In this example, I'm using an activity that has drag and drop. Boom cards would also be a great option for special education classrooms. Nearpod has lots of great features for the ViewSonic. Here I'm demonstrating a matching game. Some other examples include drawing, their whiteboard feature, which is at the bottom of all the teacher view slides, and even the VR experiences could be interesting. Again, I'm using the annotate feature to point out details to students here. Finally, there's Lumio. Lumio has lots of features perfect for the ViewSonic. The one I'm demonstrating here is their draw tool. I found this graphic organizer on the Lumio library. Flippity is an obvious choice for ViewSonic. We specifically recommend games that only involve touch and no typing. Two examples are the random name picker, where you can customize the wheel with your students' names or really any topic. And another example is the matching cards, similar to the ones in Nearpod. If you'd like a Flippity tutorial, be sure to like this video and subscribe to let us know that you're interested.